checking their health status. Convicts go through a screening process. Doctors here say HIV prevalence is high among new arrivals. Most of the prisoners that we get, over 80% actually had never taken an HIV test before. So yes, we do that test and those that are found positive are linked to care within the prison. The care includes, among other things, a balanced diet. After they have accepted swallowing these medications, we give them what we call the comprehensive health care package. That includes, amongst others, continuum of counsel, continuum of care in the area of counseling, adherence to medications, nutrition. Those that have enrolled on treatment are happy about the services. I came here bedridden. Doctors treated me. I am now able to walk without any problem. I used to have persistent headache and fever, but after taking medication with counseling, I now feel better. To make sure that there is no interruption in drug adherence among HIV-positive prisoners, doctors have introduced a medical records program. We were able to uh, start a program, an electronic-based program, linkage strategy, which we use a computer. All the patient's files are in a computer, and they are kept up there on the Internet. Using this computerized data collection system, health officials here are able to monitor and prescribe appropriate therapy for HIV-positive prisoners. But even after release, medics can now follow up on treatment for ex-convicts so that they don't miss out on life-saving drugs. About 20% of prisons in Uganda have health care units that provide comprehensive HIV services. And to enhance HIV care in the prison facilities, authorities are now rolling out these services to other detention facilities countrywide. Hilara Yesiga, CGTN, Kampala.